let's face it, this time of year is chaos. I'm struggling this morning. <laughs> Mr. Carrington is here. Yeah. Absolute Bottle of Prosecco down, a couple of martinis, <laughs> and it's not even 3 p.m. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I thought I would vlog this week and maybe do a bit of a weekly vlog. I might try and do, I think I'll go for Monday to Friday or most of the days between Monday and Friday this week because I've basically filmed all the way up until the end of this week but then the last week before Christmas, the run up to Christmas, I don't have any videos for yet so I fancied doing a bit of a long sort of follow me around vlog. I'll take you anywhere interesting that I go this week and yeah, we can just do a bit of a old school vlogmas style weekly vlog. So that is the plan. You may notice that I'm wearing my PJs. These are new. So I've just been shooting some outfits for Matalan. So I thought I would show you the bits because they're all really reasonably priced. And yeah, I thought you might be interested in some of them. So I'll go through those in a minute. I've got a little coffee on the go in my Cozy Vibes mug. It's Monday afternoon now, just turned Monday afternoon. And it is a cozy day today because it's been raining outside. It was a beautiful morning this morning and it changed like that. And then we have rain. It has been pitter patter out on the roof garden this morning. So I've made myself a coffee and I just thought I'd sit down, start the vlog and show you the bits from Matalan. And yeah, we'll just um, do a nice long vlog that you can pop on in the background, have a bath, do something else, have me on in the background while you've got something else on the go. Maybe you might be cooking some dinner, whatever you want to do, it's going to be a long one. So buckle up, <laughs> get yourself a drink if you fancy one. I've got my coffee, as I say. Let me know if you're having something else, something naughty maybe, if you're watching this in the evening. Quick sip, and we'll get into the first bit of the video, which is going to be the bits that I got from Matalan. So I've took some photographs of these that will be going up over Instagram and it's lovely working with Matalang because I've been buying from them for absolute years. I think they're really good value. So let's start off with the pyjama set. This has actually come up quite big. Um, this is a size medium and this was £18 for the set, I think, which is pretty good. Yeah, £18. It says premium lounge set. So it's kind of, I would call it pyjamas, but it's pretty nice for kind of around the house as well. So you've got the soft cotton bottoms and they have got pockets as well which I discovered recently, not all pyjama bottoms or loungewear bottoms have pockets. And then they also have the drawstring waist, which is excellent as we go into the festive season with the buffet belly situation. But this top, as I say, comes up really rather big, which is nice when you're lounging around. But if you want it slightly more fitted, I would size down for this one because I think this feels more like a large to me. As you can see, there's plenty of room and stretch in there, but it feels really nice. And I think for 18 pounds, that's pretty good going, isn't it? And I've got a couple of kind of tracksuit loungewear options to show you as well. So I picked up this top and this one is 12 pounds. I got this in a size large, so I could wear it slightly oversized. It just has a little embroidered motif on there and then it has the nice stripe going through it. And I always like a stripe going that way. I think it looks really good if that makes sense, kind of like blocking out the shoulder section. Just think it looks really nice when it's um, across in that direction. And yeah, nice sweatshirt and I think a really good price as well. It's really soft inside too, so it's got that, I'm not sure what you call that, but when it's, you know when it goes really fleecy, almost like a kind of soft felt material in there. So I've got that and then to go with that, I've got these bottoms. So they've got various bottoms that would match uh, that set and also the other set that I'm going to show you or you could mix and match them on the website and these I got in a size medium and I don't have the price on these I think I pulled the tag off but I think these were £12 if I remember correctly let's see how much the other ones were because they're probably the same price yeah £12.50 for these and these are just plain black ones with the cuffed ankle as well which I always think is quite nice on a jogger to have the cuffed ankle slightly different on these ones 
as you can see that one's kind of just gathered if you see what I mean whereas this one has got an actual separate cuff I actually prefer these ones I think out of the two and the fact that they're plain black as well slightly slim fit means that they'll go with everything so really versatile to wear and yeah for £12.50 I think that's really good so yeah little drawstring on those as well and then I also picked up this top which I love I love the two colors in this well black and then and then this kind of beige color or camel color do we call it and this one says New York USA on it and of course I absolutely love New York so nice cozy hoodie with the drawstrings on there as well and although I can't travel there anytime soon I can dream and I can wear my New York hoodie which I think will be lovely to wear on my travels I've got so many hoodies now but I've just got them in constant rotation and you know what else I do I'll try and wear the same hoodie for quite a few days in a row because I find that it really saves on the washing so is that disgusting I don't think it is I obviously wear clean t-shirts underneath it but I'll try and keep the hoodie going for a few days so that we don't end up with a mountain of washing at the end of the week so if you're just at home you know who wants to do loads of washing of outfits when we haven't been anywhere to show people them so that is the vibe um i'm sat here still in this and i might just keep it on um for as long as possible but i have got some other bits from matalan which may well motivate me to get out the door today and that is because they've sent me over a couple of bits from their new season so Lux. Solux. Solux. <laughs> I thought it was going to say something else, but it just says for you to try out. So I thought that was part of the name of it. So we have some sportswear. And so I might well pop out for a little run later. It's looking very grey and dark out there, but it has stopped raining. So I might go for a little run. So we have this sports top. And I don't have the price on that one, I'm afraid. But if I can find this, I'll link it in the description box for you. And these shorts, which I think look really nice, they've got a bit of a pattern going on, almost like camouflage in this navy blue. So they've sent me over those in a size small, so I hope they fit all right. I mean, they've got a bit of stretch, and if they're anything like these, they should be okay because, yeah, I think it comes up quite big so far that I've tried from Matalan. They've also got the kind of underpants sewn in as well. So they've got that bit, and then we also have a, another top here from the range as well so yeah if I can find those on the site I'll also link these as well because sometimes sportswear can get really pricey as well can't it and I know that Matalan stuff does tend to be quite a lot cheaper than other places especially for the quality so um, yeah I'll link all of those bits that I can find on the website for you in the description box down below tell you what another place to look for running stuff is Lidl I found some fab stuff in there that's lasted me for ages and it's washed really well I've had it for a few years now and I've had like vests from there and all that kind of stuff so when that comes into store in the middle aisle if you're into your fitness or you're running or anything like that it is well worth a little look because it's really reasonable and it looks quite nice as well so no sort of massive logos on it or anything it's quite stylish as well and this was in the packaging holding together one of the items and I was going to throw that away into the recycling but then I just thought I've got a little hack for this so in my what I like to call my boiler room which is actually a cupboard that holds the boiler but in London those things are a room <laughs> if you've seen anything that the estate agents put out in terms of rentals in London you'll know what I'm talking about so my boiler room which is actually a cupboard has a lot of things like this in it that are getting all muddled and messy and they keep falling down when I open the door so I use these for filming quite a lot though to plug my lamps in or the glue gun and that sort of thing so I thought with this clip and I'm going to save up a few more of these if ever I get sent any more packages with similar hangers how about that? Keep all your cables really nice and tight. There's absolutely loads of things that we could hang up with that, isn't there? So I've got some pegs in there and I just thought that's a really handy way of hanging things up. Let me know if you've got any other thoughts of what we could do with this. The other thing I thought was, with that piece like that, it would quite nicely go on the back of a wreath, wouldn't it? We could glue that onto a wreath and use it as a hook for that too. But yeah, the fact that it's got the little gripper like a bulldog clip, good to go. It's a bit of cable storage there, delighted. <laughs> it's the small things that make me happy, I'm telling you. Right, so we'll have another quick sip of the coffee and then I'm gonna crack on with some work. I need to get these photos over to Matalan to get them up on Instagram and then 
I have lots of admin to do. I feel like I'm slowly tying things up for the year, but I've still got some more bits of work to do. I've got two more episodes of Steph's Pack Lunch to do, so I'll be up and down to Leeds this week as well. And then that finishes on the 18th for this year, so there will be a Christmas break of the show, which is lovely. So I'll be able to have a little bit of time off from that. And YouTube, I will be slowing down over Christmas, of course, but then there'll be plenty coming for you in the new year as well. And then the loft is underway and we're just waiting on a few details of things to be signed off with all of that, but hopefully we'll be looking to get cracking with the works, hopefully in February next year. So things are looking promising. So I do have to get back to the declutter at some point, but things have been so busy that has just been on hold, especially with things like the charity shops being closed. Recently they have reopened, so I have taken quite a lot of bags down to them and done some donations in time for Christmas. So I donated some Christmas decorations and that sort of thing as well. So I wanted to make sure that they went into the charity shops before Christmas so that they could actually get them sold and raise some money with them. So I have done a few bags of um, things down to the charity shops, but there's plenty more decluttering that needs to happen. But I actually think I'm going to pause that and do it after Christmas because I don't want to be stressing about trying to get the loft empty while everything else is going on at this time of year because let's face it this time of year is chaos <laughs> so anyone else relate to that yeah no matter how much you think you're organized you never are are you so loads still to do um before the holidays start but yeah i'll stop rabbiting on now i'll go and get some work done and i'll catch up with you in a little bit <laughs> I think I'll be going for a run later on, if I do go, because this is the situation. At least the plants are all getting a good soak. I do need to go out there at some point and deadhead those geraniums, because they're not looking too good. But I'm amazed that they've still got some colour on them, but look at this. It is coming down fast. And I popped this baby tree on the stairs here, which I think looks fab. It's just nice to walk past it when you go up and down the stairs. Just had a delivery from Pasta Evangelist. So this is pasta that is delivered through your letterbox that you can make at home. It says keep chilled. So there is some fresh ingredients in here. So let's take a look at what's inside. So this is their Instagram handle if you want to take a look. And we have an ice pack here. It says, don't worry if I've melted. I've been keeping um, your food chilled during the trip. And then inside we have lobster, crab and prawn ravioli with a sage butter sauce. So that's how that comes. And then we have some fresh pasta here and a cheese sauce. So here's the cooking instructions for the ravioli. And here's the other one here. So parmigiano reggiano cream with fresh bucatini, I can't pronounce that, but there you go. So yeah, really look forward to cooking these. And really handy if you want to treat yourself to an Italian meal. I know a lot of us aren't really eating out at the moment, so if you do want to do something special at home, this could be a really lovely option to do. They've also sent over a couple of these Amaro Montenegros as well to enjoy with it. And of course, some Parmesan. And I love the fact that they are letterbox size. So if you do order it and you're going to be out at work or something like that, then you're not going to miss the delivery. And with the ice packs inside, they should be good for by the time you get home. So it could be a really nice option for a little treat to have a lovely meal at home. This guy, I want to show you quickly. I picked him up in Lidl. And these are only 89 peach and they had a few different characters. I think they had reindeers, penguins as well, maybe snowmen. I can't remember, there was a few different ones, but I just saw the sand and thought he looked really cool. For just 89p, I think these are really nice things to include with a present or if you're putting together like a little mug for somebody or anything like that, or even just shove it um, yeah, in someone's stocking, <laughs> that sort of thing. I just think they're really good for 89p. I think they're fab. So yeah, look out for those if you do pop into Lidl. They're kind of squishy as well. What are they actually made out of? Oh, marshmallow. Marshmallow lolly. There we are. And I've got all of my Christmas mugs out in the kitchen. And then up here, I have this sign that I finally found that came from the car boot sale. I picked this one up with Kate. Was it a couple of years ago, I think, at the car boot sale? And it was originally a Gisella Graham sign. So yeah, I really love that one. And then we have this little star here, which I've attached some lights to. 
and this beautiful glass that was a gift from Luke and that was from Anthropology originally. I've just put a few festive bits in the kitchen. We've got the Starbucks coffee on the go. And I have another delivery to open up with you. This is something that I've ordered off Amazon. I'm afraid it's not very interesting. Well, saying that, some of you might be interested. <laughs> it is a shredder. So basically our shredder packed up. It had enough or may have been force fed too many pages all at once and it died. So I went onto Amazon and I had a good look at the reviews and I found this one, which is the Amazon basics one, but the reviews on it were really good. And it does, I think, up to eight sheets cross-shredded at a time, which is pretty good going. Because if you know your shredders, you'll know that some of them only manage one or two sheets at a time. So you want one that you can shove a few in all at once. And then it also has the um, section to do CDs or DVDs or kind of any discs that you may also want to um, shred to make sure that those are disposed of in a confidential way. So yeah, you've just got the on off and the reverse as well you know when it gets clogged so you can reverse it out as well it also has a section here where you can shred credit cards i just thought quite nice simple design on that one and not bad for the price so i'll link it just in case any of you are in the market to get a new shredder so you can check it out because yeah the reviews on this one were really good and i thought it was quite competitively priced as well by amazon basics um, which sounds obviously basic, <laughs> doesn't it? But um, if it does the job, um, then that's all we're worried about with something like a shredder, aren't we? And I think because it's just like black and quite compact as well, that will sit under the desk and not draw the eye too much as well. So I won't talk any more about shredders with you, but I just wanted to share it just in case <laughs> any of you are interested. I've also just been told that you can use the code MONTY at home to get complimentary Montenegro miniatures with your Pasta Evangelist's order. So yeah, feel free to use that at the checkout. There's also some other discount codes available. I think there's a 30% off when you sign up to their newsletter as well, which might be of interest to you too. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine. So let it come. Good morning, today is Tuesday. I think I left you last night with some pictures of my dinner, which was very delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed that pasta and it was so easy to make. It was literally boil for three to four minutes and then there was a bit of transferring of sauces in pans, but really you can make it in under 10 minutes, no bother. So that was great. And this morning I'm off into central London. I'm going to Piccadilly to meet up with Luke. I haven't seen Luke in a little while, so I'm really excited to catch up with him. And we're gonna take some photos around all of the Christmas lights as well. So we'll find some festive spots and I'll take you around some of them as well because around Piccadilly, Bond Street, all of that area is looking fab at the moment. So it'd be nice to get some of that on the vlog. And yeah, just have a nice day. We've got a nice day for it. So finally it has stopped raining. It looks like it's gonna be sunshine today, which is perfect for taking our photos. We've got slightly confused. I think Luke's over at Piccadilly and I've just got off at Green Park. So we're gonna meet halfway down Piccadilly by Burlington Arcade. 
everywhere is looking very festive. We've got the Ritz over there. Here he is. <laughs> All right. <Hello. laughs> he's taking, he's taking the road, speed walking down the road. <laughs> Too many people in the way on the pavement. Honestly, <laughs> I swear, I was literally like, I feel like I'm going to walk past them, so I was trying to keep a side That's what I was doing, I thought you might be over there. Oh, no. <laughs> I like your jacket. Hello. Hello. I feel like I'm in your way. Very nice. I'm very warm. Oh, God. Oh, I got sweat on already. Technological well. disaster, and it's not even yeah. 11 a.m. in the morning. We found really each cool. other. Eventually, I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. There we are. <laughs> so, we've just come to the Tree Here and Cartier store. Just a lovely spot for taking some photographs. You'll see this all over Instagram. The classic shot is like here. <laughs> so you just see it with the Cartier store behind. So we've just taken some photos. Next up we're gonna take some of Luke outside. Oh, Ralph Lauren, absolute favourite. I popped down to Ralph Lauren home the other day. That's that's stunning down there. Yeah. I, um, you the you tie in very well with the tartan. Right. Yeah. The last time I went to the Ralph Lauren store was with you. That was. Oh, that might have been this time last year. It was this time last yeah. year. Yeah. So it yeah. might change a little bit. Just love it for a bit of interior oh, inspo yeah. down there. And it's it always gorgeous. smells amazing as well. They're Christmas candles. You said about the seal, like you can get them in a seal sometimes yeah. in January. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you back in Inside January. <laughs> And somebody else has popped down for a photo shoot at the tree. <laughs> oh, it's getting better. We've got headwear and a bell. Sadly not checking in, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> One day. <laughs> um, so we just shot here. We shot here last year, do you remember? It is, literally, and then like... we did the gift swap, do you remember? Yeah, oh yeah. I'll link that vlog down below. It's going to be a very busy description box in yes. this um, video, because it's a long vlog. Oh. Um, but there we are, so that'll be linked down below. So yeah, we did um, a shoot last year, and then yeah. we went and had a bottle of wine. It was we lovely. We had a wine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember there was a man in there with a Christmas jumper on, there remember? Was. There was, not Yeah, I'll link the video. <laughs> Quick change. Down the back alley as usual. <laughs> the glamour. Yeah, we just got changed. Um, so we're going to do some photos outside Annabelle's next. We have come to Annabelle's, which has probably one of the most festive displays in all of London. So it's got crackers on this year and then you've got the Nutcracker Ballet going on inside the windows. How fab is this place? It's just absolutely stunning and the fact they've like hung a full curtain on it this year as well, I just think it's incredible. Oh, they've got live window display. Yeah, they've got the ballet going on in there. It's cool, isn't it? We were just intrigued by that mist. We didn't know what it was, but this is like a water installation that's the sort of thing that i'd end up sitting on if we'd have had a pint i'd have probably gone let's do a photo here and sit in that <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have a very symmetrical christmas tree over there <laughs> this is the Lacoste store. Luke's just spotted a crock. We've come to a place called Crazy Pizza and look at this. How fab is that? Right, come for lunch. Got a little cheeky Prosecco. Tuesday afternoon, that's the mood. <laughs> Cheers. We're sitting outside, it's a lovely setting here. They've got all this lovely display outside. They've got the Christmas trees mm. and they've got some flowers. Oh, lovely Cheers, everyone. Oh. <laughs> good? Oh, that's very nice. That's his spot. That's delicious. <laughs> really good. And we're going to have some pizza. Espresso martinis. Apparently this concoction tastes 50% less sugar and 50% less fat. 
So it's a healthy cocktail. Is that a thing? You said you have twice as many then. It's a healthy cocktail, so instead of having one, you have four. Yeah. Genius. Love it. <laughs> We had a lovely time. That was glorious. <laughs> We're a bit squiffy. Slightly merry. <laughs> Bottle of Prosecco down, a couple of martinis, <laughs> and it's not even 3 p.m. <laughs> merry Christmas. We need to be here. It's a Tuesday mood, isn't it? Elves, isn't it? <laughs> we'll go home and do some work as well. <laughs> <laughs> Emails are going to be interesting this afternoon. They will. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. I had a lovely time catching up with Luke and the food was delicious. The pizza was amazing. It had that really nice thin crust, you know? Just the right amount of food, it was absolutely wonderful. But this morning, I'm up bright and early, it's quarter past six, and I'm just about to head out the door to go up to Leeds today to do Steph's packed lunch. Let's go. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes. Jingling. Hello, I've just finished the show, and I've just popped back into the city centre of Leeds. I didn't get a chance to vlog, kind of surrounding doing the show today because. I was having to learn quite a bit. I wanted to get some things right because we were doing an item on gifts that also involved giving to charities and that sort of thing. So it was really important that I got all of the information correct. So I was busy learning all of that. The show went well. Now it's chucking it down with rain, but I've popped into the city centre because I wanted to swing by H&M home. I just thought it'd be rude not to. We've got a bit of time before the train. So we'll go and have a little peep and see what's in store. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy, so giddy up, root of my dear. And I am sweltering. I've put both my jackets on. I've still got the jumper on that I wore for the show. This is from Trade. It's a thrifted jumper and it was £8.99. So I wore that on the show today. Kept getting caught around my neck a little bit. So <laughs> I had to fiddle about and put the microphone down there. But anyway, because I'm sweltering, I think before I even settle in, I'm going to go to the bathrooms on the train and get changed into my comfort clothes because I need to get out of this and I can relax for the journey and get some work done. I am feeling a little bit stressed <laughs> because I've come out to a lot of emails and lots of stuff I need to try and sort out. So I don't want to sort it out while I'm a sweaty mess. So I'm going to get changed, chill out a bit and then deal with the inbox. Ah, oh, that is better. I've changed. I'm a lot more comfortable now. Let me show you what I've got to eat in prep. I picked up a tuna salad with some eggs and spinach. I just feel like I need to try <laughs> to eat a little bit healthy. So there's no McDonald's situation on the train home today. cold 
December day On this cold December day <laughs> I think, oh it did. I think I need to trim this wick. I'm gonna blow this out. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna blow that out. Oh wait. <laughs> that went very wrong. Um, <laughs> I'll sort that out. Um, but I just wanted to um, check in before I call it a night. I was given a little present from the production team at Steph's Packed Lunch in this fabulous bag. So I thought we'd open it together and see what's in here. There's a little card as well. It says Mr. Carrington on it. It's very bright. I put the filming lamp on because obviously it's quite dark now. It is it's five to five to eight. Oh, that's cool. So it says Merry Christmas from Steph's Packed Lunch. Absolutely love that. I'm going to pop it up on the mantelpiece. And we have here some chocolates from Hotel Chocolat. <laughs> Chocolat. If you saw the show, you'll hear that I pronounced it Chocolat, and Steph pronounced it. Hotel Chocolate? <laughs> My accent's terrible, apologies. I should look forward to having those over the Christmas break. I had a little package arrive from Channel 4 as well and it says Season's greetings from all of us at Channel 4. Instead of sending gifts this year, we have made a donation on your behalf to the Trussell Trust who are working to bring a hunger-free future to the UK. So that's lovely and they've also sent me a face mask as well, which is great because I could do with a new fabric one. What does that say on it? It says, stay safe, watch telly. And it's got the little Channel 4 logo on there. Love that. Probably gonna be the vibe for this Christmas, isn't it? I'll be doing a lot of that. I actually don't have a television. Don't tell anybody. It's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> we don't have a telly anymore because I got rid of it during the lockdown. But thinking about getting one again. But actually, I just quite enjoy using the catch-up facilities. And I can actually watch live TV through my laptop. So. I don't know, I'm kind of liking the living room without a television in it. So do any of you not have a TV? Let me know in the comments, I'd be really intrigued actually um, as to whether you still have like a television set or whether you watch more things like on devices and that sort of thing. I'm rambling, I do apologise. Um, but I've got something exciting to show you now. So as I swung into H&M home, I picked up this in the sale. And here we have the Christmas tree cushion that I've had in the backdrop and I absolutely love it. So it's been in store and it's been reduced to the bargain price of £3 and it's made from organic cotton. Now the reason that I've picked this up is because I want to send it to one of you because I had quite a few comments on both I think Instagram and also here on YouTube saying that some of you went on the site, it was sold out, you were in different countries where you have H&M, but they don't have this particular cushion. You liked it. So I thought we would do a cheeky little giveaway. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get it posted out to you. So it might not reach you in time for Christmas, but it is actually just a tree, if that makes sense. It's not decorated for Christmas. So you could actually have this in your home going into the new year. I think it would still look lovely. Um, in your home in January time. So if you want to win this, I'm going to do it over on Instagram. It's the easiest way for me to do these giveaways. Then, um, yeah, feel free. Give me a little follow over on Mr. Carrington Home and I'll do a post with the cushion in it and it'll say giveaway and all that good stuff and it'll be really easy to enter. You just need to do a little comment and follow both of my accounts over there. And this will be on its way to one of you. So I'll put all the details um, for the giveaway over on Instagram and I'll also link to it in the description box as well. So head on over and good luck, and this will be on its way to one of you. So yeah, fab eh? And also, I will link it if it is available still, um, in case any of you fancy doing a little bit of online shopping and uh, it is in stock, I'll pop it in the description box too, so I'll have a look and check that. But how about that for three quid? So good, isn't it? They do do some lovely cushions, cushion covers in H&M Home. But yeah, I am just going off on one now, so, I think I'm delirious. I'm still spinning from the journey. 
I just want to share with you a clip from the show today. You can always catch up with the segments on um, Steph's Packed Lunch Instagram, which is called Packed Lunch C4 on Instagram, if ever you want to see that. And it will also work for any of you that are watching from um, overseas as well. So I know that some of you can't obviously catch up with the programme if you're not in the UK, but you can um, always watch the segment on Instagram. But let me show you this yes, from today's I'm show. Hi, Steph. Hi, Mr. Carrington. Um, I'm excited to tell you about the Wartel Christmas Shop, which has amazing gifts that do help others, including this Bella Freud jumper um, and a load of other really brilliant presents. And 100% of the proceeds go to the Torn From Home campaign that Wartel is running. Look at you, you oh, celeb mates. I know. Calling Steve them up, getting them on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so forty pounds for one of these. How cool is that? And I really like those jumpers as well. I have to say, I would definitely wear one of them myself. So yeah, if you are looking for maybe a Christmas jumper or a jumper to go into the new year. I think they were a very good option from the show today. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go Hello, I it is Thursday and I have just been shooting something for Lidl which is incredibly exciting. I'm delighted to be working with them on something over on Instagram. So I'm going to be doing a bit of a haul of some of their Christmas desserts. Let me just show you what's going on here. So this is the current setup, and these are some of their fab desserts that I've been showing on Instagram. This one, I think, is my favorite. It's the Melting Cottage. But yeah, I'm cracking on because I've got to get this all shot, edited, and delivered before I head back up to Leeds this evening. I've got a taxi coming at 5.45, so I've got a lot to do. So I'm going to get to work and I'll probably catch up with you maybe at the station a little bit later on because I feel like the next few hours are going to be chaos. <laughs> so I probably won't pick up the camera for a bit. I've just sat down for a bite to eat and I've got from the local cafe, which is still open for takeaway, a delicious cheese and coleslaw baguette, which is my favourite. So I'm going to eat this now, a little bit more work to do and I've got, we're at three o'clock, so I've got two hours and 45, so I'm going to do two hours of work, 45 to get sorted, packed up and ready to go. And it's quarter to six, I've just packed up and I'm off to get my taxi now to head to King's Cross Station and up to Leeds. I popped a cap on because I thought, yeah, that's the mood now. <laughs> oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying, you better loosen your belt. Drinking hot wine by the fire yeah. I don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a life with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from And I've just got to the hotel, it is 20 to 10 So I'm gonna fake tan, quick shower, fake tan Get an early night, I might put the telly on as well It's always a little luxury in a hotel room isn't it? I might put the kettle on, get the telly on Yeah, quick shower, fake tan the beard dye is on. I am watching Inside the Savoy at Christmas, which I am loving. I like seeing behind the scenes in places like that. Just thought I'd show you what my t-shirt says this evening. 
Dear Santa, I just want to go to Ibiza. Can you imagine? It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear Good morning. Oh, my voice <laughs> doesn't sound too good, does it? Hopefully that'll sort itself out. Um, I've just got breakfast. I went downstairs to collect it. I mean, you have to eat in your room at the current time. So I'll show you what I'm having. I've gone for trusty Weetabix and some porridge, orange juice, coffee, and some fruit. And the time is five past nine. So I'm just gonna go through my script for today and eat my breakfast. And then, yeah, I've got to be ready by 9.45 to do a few bits this morning. And it is a bit of a rainy day in Leeds today. Okay, I'm off to, I think I'm gonna shoot a trail this morning or either that or a pickup for last week's show. Last week's? <laughs> Wednesday's show, oh my goodness. I need another coffee. I'm gonna get changed into the shop, the top, oh dear. I'm gonna get changed into the top for today's show. I hope I manage to speak when I'm on the show today. I'm struggling this morning. <laughs> Your door. All finished on rehearsal, so I'm just, getting ready for the live show now, but I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing for it. So I've got this top on, it's quite an old one. It's probably, I think it's about four years old, maybe three or four even. And this was from a charity shop, but originally it was from ASOS and it's got a Christmas pudding on it and a bit of sparkle as it's the last show today. And Luke's backstage with them. Uh, now, hi Luke, who have you got with you? Oh, I'm here in my grotto, ho ho! <laughs> I've got our resident wheeler dealer, Mr. Carrington, is here. Yay! Absolute bar. So, Mr. Carrington, have you got any deals for us today? Have indeed. I've got some last minute gift ideas for you, including a little bit of festive fizz, what we say. Oh, I love it. Cheers. Oh, I know. Happy Christmas. I was very pleased to see mm -hmm. this one. Is this just your chance to have a drink on the show? Basically, yeah. And Mr. Carrington, it's been an absolute Cheers, pleasure Steph. having you here. Thank uh, you. Yeah, and an absolute bar as well. Mm -hmm. Sure, play as well, we should say. I'll let you finish drink. Put your hands together for Mr. Carrington. All done. I need to show you Luke's suit. Look at this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Very festive. Forever. Yeah. And I've just made it onto the train. I've actually got a slightly earlier one today at um, quarter to three. I normally get 3.15, so yeah, good to be heading home a tiny bit earlier. So I'm just gonna do a bit of editing of this vlog that you're watching. So I'll get the bulk of this one edited. And yeah, that was such a fun show today. The atmosphere was brilliant and there was lots of the gang in. So it felt really busy and fun. And yeah, it was just lovely to finish up for Christmas with such a fun show. And yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been loving doing that. So I'm very grateful to be part of that program. But yeah, heading back to London now. So I will crack on with my editing and I'll probably catch you back in London. And yes, I did finish that glass of champagne that I poured in the show because it would have been rude <laughs> not to. Ah, just got back to London. I'm gonna head into Marks and Spencer's quickly just before I get my taxi. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Oh. I have just got back and I am home. So I think I'm gonna call it a night on here for today. It really feels a bit like the last day of term today. So although I've got some more work to do, just some other bits and bobs, that's the last TV for the year. So yeah, it does feel a bit like the last day of term and with that, I feel absolutely pooped. It's kind of like the last time that I've been up and down to Leeds in a while. So there'll be no travel for me now until in the new year. The show is back from the 4th of January. So I'm gonna um, just chill out for a bit now for the rest of the evening. So I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow for the weekend and yeah, let's continue the vlog. Good morning, happy Saturday. I am up and I'm off to the charity shops because I've just had a bit of a clear out. So I've got a bag full of Christmas jumpers that I no longer fit in <laughs> and no longer wear and I've also got a few other bits and pieces as well that I've cleared out so I want to get them down to the charity shops today just to make sure that they can obviously be sold on before Christmas so they can be sold on this year so I'm going to do that now I've just got comfy clothes on today cap is on I'm gonna have a really relaxed day today so yeah we might have a little browse in the charity shops I'll take you with me to those <laughs> Walking around, feeling free, 
thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide from falling in love. There was loads of nice stuff in the charity shops, but I resisted, even though I saw lots of nice bits. I really liked that gingerbread house, which I think was five pounds, that was in mind. Anyway, the market was on, so I got myself a little sausage rolls. I'm gonna enjoy that now. One pound fifty, and yeah, it's still warm, which is delightful. So I'm gonna enjoy my sausage roll now. Well, that sausage roll was absolutely delightful. That certainly hit the spot. I have sat down now to unwrap some presents from Kate McCabe. So I thought we'd do that together. You know Kate, obviously, just in case you don't, I will link her channel down below. And did you catch our Come Dine With Us from Friday. We brought back the Come Dine With Us videos, myself and Luke and Kate, and we had good fun filming some Christmas festive versions of those. So if you want to have a little watch of those, head over to Kate's channel because she does the starter, and then you can head over to Luke's for the main course and then back to my channel for the dessert in case you did miss them. But let's get opening our presents. We said we'd just do kind of like thrifted or stuff that we've already got from around the house kind of vibe this year, keeping it really casual with the gifts. I mean, we are usually like that anyway. Pretty much all of our presents <laughs> that we give to each other are from either the charity shop or the car boot sale. So there we are. First of all, we have this beautiful card and this is by uh, Kath Kidston and it says the grand appeal for Bristol Children's Hospital charity on it. So there's a lovely message in there. I'm gonna pop this up on the mantelpiece, I think. I might have to clear a bit of space to put the um, Christmas cards up. Don't get loads of Christmas cards anymore. Used to get a lot more, have you noticed that? Best people send them, don't they? Anyway, um, it's still lovely to receive them. I am gonna go in with this one, because it's the biggest, or is that the biggest? That's the biggest and it's ripped, so let's go in with that one. I can see something looking rather festive in here. It says, to Ewan from Kate. I like this wrapping paper. I've got a feeling that this might be Poundland wrapping paper. It's got kind of Georgian townhouses on it, which is lovely. I've tried to feature a few of these in my vlog. Did you notice from the taxi window? I always love to look at the houses like this and look at the Christmas trees and all the windows, but the, the camera kept wobbling because we were going over speed bumps. I really wanted to say to the driver, can you 
really slow down, but I thought, I can't. <laughs> I can't just ask the taxi driver to slow down so that I can film Christmas trees through other people's windows, because that sounds kind of like a weird stalker. <laughs> but anyway, um, ooh. Oh, wow, what do we have here? We have two things in this. We have a Christmas jumper with a, is that a penguin? It is a penguin, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. I might wear that on Christmas Day. Having just <laughs> having just donated a load of Christmas jumpers, it's nice to have one that actually fits me. So that's like a nice, is that a large? It's a medium, but it's coming up quite big. So that should be all right for the buffet belly. Oh, thank you, Kate, I love that. And then we have something here that looks like pajamas. Oh, no, it's a shirt. <laughs> and this is a rather festive, shirt from Peacocks in an XL. Kate, what are you saying? <laughs> Relaxed fit. She knows I'm going to be expanding over the festive season, I think. I love that. It's got cute little, um, like little horse-drawn sleighs on it and little Christmas houses. So I'll have a go at styling this up and if I make it work, with the XL situation. I sometimes like to wear these sort of shirts oversized, so we'll see if that's a vibe. And if I, if I can style it up, I'll pop a photo on Instagram. The other thing that I'm thinking is this would be the shirt that you take with you if you were jetting off somewhere exotic for your Christmas holiday, wouldn't it? Imagine that on the beach in Barbados. Just that with a pair of Speedos <laughs> and, a, and a festive cocktail on the beach. Oh, that would be the vibe. Anyway. Um, thank you, Kate. Oh, my voice has done that weird thing again. <coughs> I haven't really been talking much today. Hence the um, squeak. <laughs> right, so next up we have um, a box here and it says Jingle Bells on the sticker. What do we think's in there? Any guesses? <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. It is a drinks helmet. How does this work? I could do two tins of gin from that, couldn't I? Or, um, or just like Coke. <laughs> the two straws go. <laughs> this could be fun for a party. And then you can sip it straight from the straw. Two tins. Be quite a good one <laughs> for if you're doing any DIY, wouldn't it? Because you can protect your head at the same time have an emergency beverage on the go. <laughs> Love that. We have a small square one. Any guesses? I'm going to guess that none of you probably got that one, did you? I'd be very surprised <laughs> if you did guess that one correctly. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's in a nice box. It says London Christmas. Oh, Emma Bridgewater. Oh, wow. Is this a mug, maybe? What are we thinking? Oh, I love this. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love this. Is that a thrifted find? If Kate found that in a charity shop, I would be so impressed. Thank you so much, Kate. I absolutely love this. Look, it's got the um, angels on Regent Street, which are my favorite lights. I was literally just saying um, to my sister the other day how much I love those lights in um, Regent Street, because they're not kind of really branded or anything. They're just really beautiful. And then on this side, what have we got here? We can see the London bus there. How lovely is that Tower Bridge? Oh, that is fab. Did any of you guess that one? I wonder if Kate's shown this already on her channel. I don't think she has, unless I've missed it. So yeah, um, Kate, if you're watching, let me know if that was a charity shop find, or if you were naughty and didn't get it from a charity shop. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Last present. And it says, nice wrapping, huh? Because I think Kate ran out of the wrapping paper, so she's gone in for some brown paper as well, which is something that I would do. Let's face it, on oh, my voice. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, <laughs> love it. We have here a Starbucks drinks container. And this one's good. I'm thinking for mulled wine. It's almost like a little flask, isn't it? I absolutely love that. How cute is he? 
Oh, thank you, Kate. I absolutely love my presents. And the mug is my favourite, probably followed by this. Thank you very much, Kate, if you're watching. I'll link Kate's channel in the description box down below. I've made a right old mess here. That's what happens when you unwrap presents, isn't it? Are you one of those people who has to put the wrapping paper straight in the bin when people are unwrapping the presents? I bet there's a few of you watching that do that. You'll be going around with the bin bag before people have even had a chance to look at them. <laughs> so have a quick tidy up and then I'm going to have to drag myself out and go to the supermarket. I probably won't vlog that bit because I've got a feeling it's going to be very busy as it's Saturday afternoon. So yeah, I'll probably catch up with you a bit later. And I've just got back from Lidl. On the way home, there's actually a craft beer place that was open for takeaway. So I picked up a couple of beers here. We have an IPA and also a German style Pilsner. And I just thought I'd show you a couple of the bits that I picked up while I was in Lidl that I thought were quite interesting. I won't go through everything, but I found this non-alcoholic mulled punch, which I thought would be a nice thing to have for Christmas time. It says a seasonal blend of spring water with elderberry, red currant, red grape, lemon and orange juice from concentrate. So that's a nice alternative to an alcoholic okay. beverage. But I did buy <laughs> a couple of bottles of car because they were on offer. They were down to £4.49 I think it was. I also got some salmon. Fancy doing some salmon this week. And I picked up some scourers, some spinach. I've also picked up the TV Choice um, magazine. I might go through this in a separate video. I thought that might be quite fun to have a chat about Christmas TV. And then for Christmas Day, I've bought this three fish roast, which I just thought looked delicious. Cod salmon and smoked haddock. And just having it quite casual this year, it serves for, and I just thought that'd be a nice thing to make for Christmas dinner. They had some champagne at a good price. I think this was £12 for the bottle, which is pretty good going, £12 something. I also picked up some of the Dun Dalgan Country Cream, which I thought would be nice. I've got a few more presents to wrap, so I thought that would be nice to have a little drink of. And then this is new. This is called Ruby Racer. It's raspberry, sour cherry, um, goji, passion fruit, um, guarana and vitamins. And yeah, it sounds like quite a nice drink, that one. And then also, this from Robinson's, which I haven't seen before, it's the Crushed Apple and Cinnamon Fruit Cordial Win Tradition. That was only 99p, which I thought was, again, lovely. And you can also make that warm as well. And then also some Elderflower Cordial, again, a good one for making cocktails with, that sort of thing. And then they also had poinsettias for 1.99, which I just think are lovely at this time of year. And I got some of the usual bits as well, some reduced items, fish pie and moussaka, a bit of veg, batteries, a few other bits of boring stuff, tissues and that sort of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought you'd be interested to see a few of the bits that I got. Oh, and I might film a last minute clean with me for Christmas. So I found this pomegranate, fruity pomegranate scent washing up liquid. This was only 37p and it smells really good. So I thought we might include that. And I found this in store as well. This is the Febreze vanilla cookie limited edition as well, so I thought that might be nice when I get cleaning the place in time for Christmas. Right, let's get one of these open <laughs> and start our Saturday evening. I am going to end the vlog in a minute because I feel like it's getting very long, this one. So I thought I would just pour this, have a quick sip with you, and then I will say goodbye. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's lovely. German style. Pilsner. I like the tin it comes in as well. These were three pounds each, I think, from a little place in Peckham. Mm. Lovely. Right, um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was nice and varied for you, lots of bits and pieces going on in this one. And yeah, hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, let me know how you got on with it. I've had some comments asking for longer vlogs, some of you prefer the shorter ones, hopefully there's a good mix for you. And I'll probably do one or two more videos for the rest of this year, I think. I'm not sure what to be honest yet. I haven't got anything filmed or planned or scheduled, so it'll be very relaxed if I film anything. It will either be a vlog, or if I feel like doing anything around the house, I may well do a little last minute clean with me for Christmas. And yeah, maybe just something to wrap up the year, but to be honest, I'll just see what happens next week and just see um, where the mood takes us. And hopefully I'll get something up for you before Christmas. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up. And there are so many of you still watching that haven't subscribed yet, so I would absolutely love it 
if you could subscribe it'd be brilliant for us to get to 60k we're not too far off now so i'd absolutely love that if we could do that before the end of the year fingers crossed but not to worry if not don't feel you have to <laughs> but if you are somebody who likes to subscribe to videos i would love to have you subscribed here as well don't forget you can always catch me over on instagram it's mr carrington or mr carrington home don't forget to enter the giveaway to win the cushion cover so that picture Find it over on the grid post on Mr. Carrington Home and then you will be able to enter over there. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your week, whatever you're up to. And I will speak to you very soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.